David and David here. Does your iPhone say your Wi-Fi network has weak security? Yeah. That's not good. It's a problem you should fix as soon as possible. This isn't some notification you can just kind of ignore for a few months like your check engine light. Yeah. This is something you should fix right now. Right. And it's really serious. I could hack the older security that used to be common with older Wi-Fi routers. And what this means is that it's easy for someone to get your password for your Wi-Fi router. And once they're on your home network, they can see all the information that's going between your devices, or at least a lot of it, and websites on the internet. You don't want that to happen. Let's dive into the settings app. We actually hooked up my home Wi-Fi to be weak security just for the purposes of this video. So that's, don't get any ideas, people. That's dedication. It is. Open settings tap Wi-Fi. Here you'll see Meowie, weak security. If you tap the information button all the way to the right, it's the blue eye. Weak security, WEP is not considered secure. WPA3 is the newest and most secure. Right, and it's okay if your Wi-Fi router doesn't have WPA3, the WPA2 AES thing. I don't understand what these letters mean 100% of the time. Like, you don't need to, just look for them. So what we're gonna show you how to do is change the settings on my Wi-Fi router, which is gonna be very similar to yours, although it's gonna look a little different. If you're not sure how to log into your Wi-Fi router, Google the Wi-Fi router brand and model and how to log in. This is mine. Mine says 192.168.3.1 is the address. Yours is probably different than that. I'm gonna type in the password, which is admin. Next, I need to tap advanced at the top. You may need to go to an advanced section to get to these settings too. Tap on wireless on the left. Then tap on wireless settings. And now we can see the network name is Meowie and WEP is the current security type, bad. And the current password is dummy because you're a dummy if you leave it on WEP. So under security, I'm gonna change this to WPA slash WPA2 personal. And then make sure it's on WPA2 at the top and AES is selected. And this has as much to do with security as it does with reliability and performance. Max iPhones, AES is the way to go, TKIP, forget it. Then we have the password, which I'm gonna blur out, and now I'm gonna click save. And really it's that simple to update the Wi-Fi security. It's going to reboot the router. While your router is rebooting, you may need to tap forget this network on your iPhone. When your iPhone connects to a Wi-Fi network for the very first time, it saves information about how to connect to that network. So something about that change, password, right. security type, you may need to just set it up like new. Right, what happened with David now is he just got booted right off. And I guess because the iPhone recognizes it's a new type of security. So let's just tap join this network. Join, enter the password. Enter the new password, which is my own. Well done. Now we've got the check mark next to Meowie, no weak security message again. If you want to, just tap the blue eye to the right of the network and that weak security message is gone. If your router doesn't have WPA2, AES, or WPA3, it's really time to upgrade your router. We'll link to some great routers in the description section of this video. It doesn't cost you a lot of money and you're way more secure. Right, we can recommend some. But for now, your Wi-Fi is more secure. Thanks for watching, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe yeah. to our channel, all the good that. stuff. Yep, 4% of the people that watch our videos subscribe. We would really appreciate it if you would.